Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Kevin Owens, The New Face of America. It's another one of the hidden gems. Uh, my KO is not five star silver. Uh, Scopely is loaning this one to me for the purpose of this video, and I'll get my old one back afterwards. So let's take a look at uh, KO here, Trickster KO. He's got uh, a few links. He's got the Canadian link. Takes 60% less damage from yellow moves. He has Smackdown. Any color moves start with one more move point. And Modern Era. Gems do 5% more damage. He does have two sets of gear. Um, the second set is receive 50% less damage from green gems. Kind of a superfluous uh, gear there. He's the Silence Gem Damage Trainer. At 5k, Silence Gems do 35% more damage. Um, so like, uh, potentially on Champa and guys like that, he's useful. He would be useful on himself, but, uh, you can't train him with himself. So we're going to go against Alistair Black on the road. Um, I'm going to start out with his three-star move set. Going to run a three-star, four-star, and two five-star move sets. Uh, KO is a, is a guy I looked at taking up as my first trickster a long, long time ago, uh, before I got a lot of other tricksters. And um, he still does pretty solid. He scales pretty okay. Um, at 5-star, he gets a recycling move. Uh, so he's a really solid trickster. Um, so I think you guys will enjoy this video. Um, so this first move set is 3-star. It's going to have it available at 3-star. It's going to have his finisher, the pop-up power bomb, 11 MP purple, deal 45k damage, plus 7k bonus damage for every silence gem and pin the opponent. Then we're going to run with the 5 MP red senton, deal 29k damage and make 9 random gems into silence gems. And then the 5 MP reverse pump handle ne neck breaker, deal 22k damage and choose a 3x4 area to make into silence gems. I'm not going to run any MP trainers for this build. I'm going to use Corporate Kane for Silence Gems, do 25% more damage. He's not leveled. That would be higher if he was 5k. Same thing with Trickster um, Ambrose here. Moves that generate Silence Gems will create four more. I'm going to use Lacey Evans at the coach for purple and green gem damage. Um, and Velveteen Dream to reduce subturns. Uh, because we're going against Alistair Black on the road, um, he is a um, four-star bronze and or five-star bronze, and we're a five-star silver. However, he's strapped and we're not, so um, I feel like it's a pretty good indicator. I do have two perks: um, plus two MP and plus one on a color match. And Black's, re you know, doing the normal reduced gem damage by fifty percent, reduced move damage, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill by now. Uh, so ideally, we want to chase purple so that we can get the finisher filled, and it'll take two turns uh, without a match to get the other moves filled. That's a very nice starting board. So we, I won't keep him down just using the red move here and the finisher. Um, so I'm going to hold both back to keep the max amount of silence gems on the board. And, um, I'm going to take the green match, otherwise black will. Okay. So now we're going to get to put out 12 silence gems right here. Let's do that. And then 13 randoms, so we're going to have 25 silence gems on the board. So this finisher should be about 260k-ish, which won't keep him down probably. Probably. 270k. Ah. It does keep him down. So that obviously worked really, really well. Uh, a lot of times it m wouldn't keep him down. Um, but it did. So there you go. That's the three-star build. Didn't end up even needing Velveteen there. Once this black gets going, uh, gets the sub on and starts recycling, he can be a pain. 
a real big pain to go against, so uh, I'm not unhappy that he didn't kick out. So, four-star moveset. Gonna be kind of a variation on this one, the first one we ran. We're gonna keep the uh, we're gonna keep the finisher, and we're going to add in the four star move, which is the DDT, and it's choose uh, four gems to make into purple gems. So that one is eight MP green move, deal twenty five K damage, and choose four gems to make into purple gems. Um, we're gonna keep corporate cane for the silence gem damage. We're going to remove uh, Ambrose and bring in George Steele. So we're starting with four more green move points. Now this is one, if your Corporate Kane was leveled up, um, he's going to do a decent amount of damage on the finisher, uh, including the previous one. And we're going to take out Velveteen and sub in Johnny Gargano. A little more rare than I probably normally use for trainers, but he was available potentially in the um, chess last month so a lot a lot of people are much closer to him a lot of people got him um so we're gonna gonna use champ or gargano to buff the finisher and the silence gems so as well as the greens okay so it won't quite be loaded on turn one if i had max tour perks it would be um, so we won't quite be loaded on turn one. Ideally, a green match would be great, because then I can put the silence gems down twice. And we do have a green match. He's probably gonna match the blue or the black. So. Oh, he'll probably actually take the green over here, which is fine. So this that's a perfect start with the green match like this. And the reason I'm dropping this again is in case I can finagle another green match here. See if we don't force a pin. Uh, we did. That's okay. The green is ready to go again, so we'll have a lot, a lot of silence gems on the board. Finisher, 310k. So he does kick out this time. He didn't kick out on the smaller finisher the first go around. Um, so let's hit the purple. Green match would have been great. Did not get it, so. And he's going to overwrite most of our silence gems so he's a pretty tough opponent to go against for this build uh, once he gets going it can like I said get a little bit messy Hopefully you can keep him down here. I'm going to go ahead and use my um, silence gems first. And I'm just going to go with a couple three matches. Cover up some of his... Like that. Oh, bad cascade. One. 
Not, that was not ideal. Still got the purple match. Two, three, four, five, six, seven silence gems might be enough. Seven. We're looking at 70. Probably not enough, so I'm going to take this and hope I don't get a huge cascade. A little extra damage. Let's see if we can keep him down here. Probably won't. Like I said, not an easy matchup to go against for this particular build. But it does show the issues with the first two uh, move sets. That's the reason why I wanted to use this one. Because you can run into issues when you can't recycle. Try and save the greens. Certainly a frustrating card to go against, though. Finally. Okay. So there we got them. The next two movesets are going to be recycling in different versions on them, so we won't run into this problem probably again. Probably. And that's why against someone like this with a low sub, the where Velveteen Dream uh, comes in pretty clutch, because he would only be subbing for one turn. So... You could also use Dream instead of Gargano. I was wanting to show the damage on the pop-up power bomb. All right, let's get in here and do the five-star move set. So the five-star move he gets is pretty cool. It allows um, allows recycling. We're gonna pop that in for the finisher. And I do want to mention I'm not using either or this particular red or the code breaker as they're high charge and not nearly as useful for any of his movesets. So not using either of those two. So the frog splash is a 8 MP purple, deal 37k damage and make four silence gems into green gems. Um, first build set, we're going to go with Rizar to generate more greens. Uh, so we're making um, nine silence gems into green. Actually, that's eight because Gargano's a visual glitch. So we'll be making eight silence gems into green. Once you start going, you cycle back and forth really well. Um, I, th I prefer Brian for the bigger uh, choose move. As long as you're smart with your uh, silence gems, you can still recycle. This is easier to recycle. takes less thinking. Something like this is nice. I want to cover up some of his black gems. 
Not that it's going to matter, because he's still got a black match. And we do get a bonus damage for having Silence Gems on there. Um, so when you're doing the choose, you can throw more of these on. When you have Rizar, because you're going to turn a bunch of them. Decent amount of damage. So we're going to add one, two, three. Go ahead and drop this one again. I'm going to cover some of the area, uh, but make it so we can get more of those green matches here. Once he starts going, he cycles very well. not forcing a pin. There we go. Get a little bit more damage out there. Because it's going to be really close if we keep him down or not. Not a very good cascade, so... We're going to get the finisher. So we're going to Eat a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Should hopefully finish him next turn. Mm. Want to get rid of some of these botch gems, but I still want to be able to kick out. That's the problem. There we go. Okay, we need two, three matches. We'll do it easily. That will cause a cascade, though. Okay. Really would like to finish this without eating the sub. Couldn't buy a cascade, though. But I think... It's going to keep him down. There we go. Right on, guys. So the next five star, I think, is a little bit better than this one. Um, maximizing his purple damage. Going to run the same moveset and use um, Daniel Bryan instead of Rizar. You could also use NWO Macho and balance them. Um, but I feel like this, if you place your stuff right, is going to be better damage. And NWO Macho is much more rare in the trainer department. Again, we could go with Velveteen Dream in case he gets to his sub.
which is probably the safer play. Most likely he'll take that row break up top for the blues, which kind of doesn't bother me. It gives me more pin bar to work with. Oh, he took a three match, okay. So, I know we're not matching um, we're putting a lot of silence gems on the board, but they do increase your damage when you hit them. So I'm trying to maximize this choose move here. And there's a lot of purples, so should be some pretty big damage. Let's see, let's go leave that green in case we get something to fall. There we go. 220k on the choose. And didn't work out the best with how many silence gems are left, but I will get a three match out of it. So not ideal. And I probably could have played that better. Interesting. Wonder why he did not use his sub there. So he could taunt me with it on this turn, perhaps. So if I had Dream equipped, it would just be a one turn sub and we'd be charged and ready to go still. Cascade. I'm going to go ahead and hit this for some extra damage because we're going to get a green match here. And let's see if we can finish him right here with the cheese, which I think we can. So get a little extra damage on the board here. Um, let's do... I don't like those botch gems, actually. Four, four and... Let's do that. He's going to kick right out. That's the one thing where not being strapped in their strap makes a huge difference. Let's get rid of some of these botch gems. And he covered all of my silence gems, so...
There we go. So normally you'd want to save it and drop it like this where you have a decent amount of control. Get this. Get your, you know, couple gem matches. Then you could swipe your other one. Doesn't matter. So that is going to do it here. That's KO at um, at five star silver. I'm actually gonna do one more just for fun with this build. Um, give you a little bit better idea of the damage capability on the choose. I'll just go against Vader, even though he's a five star bronze unstrapped. This, all of his build sets would benefit huge from, um, so, I shouldn't say all of them. This build set, the, the five stars with the recycling, would benefit from Fury. The pop-up power bomb build sets would definitely benefit from armor. So, double armor for those, double Fury for these. Just trying to see if I can keep him down right away. All right. He's fun to play. Um, I've been doing a lot of tricksters lately, so I actually prefer um, I prefer Cactus um, over KO, and I think I also prefer Jinder over KO as well. Uh, interestingly enough, I thought that I would I would definitely prefer KO because he was one of those ones. Like I said, I was looking at um, I was looking at using originally before I got uh, Dead Man. I think I might like him better than Dead Man still. I don't know. Um, I'm not crazy about my choice to level up Dead Man. Actually, he would be another good one to do a five star preview on to see how he does compared. But I do think. I know I prefer uh, Cactus, and um, I definitely prefer uh, Gender, which is was really surprising. Um, but I think Cactus is my favorite of the three. And this is one that would really benefit from the um, the plate that just uh, came out, which was the the one I have on Piper. When you break three purples, you get three green MP. Uh, that would make this build set recycle really well, because you can see run into some issues with it even um, without Rizar. Sometimes just one off. You're a little bit at the mercy of the board. But overall, KO is still a pretty solid trickster. Um, if you don't have to worry too much about recycling, 
the pop-up power bomb builds can get really big, but you want to set up for a big boom because uh, it definitely can be hard to recycle. I'm just going to clear this. Okay. Yes. Much better. So KO, definitely a decent trickster. Um, not, didn't perform quite as well as I as I thought. The recycling is really nice, but it just doesn't quite get the the job done with the damage. So, um, yeah, he's not bad. But again, I think uh, I know I prefer Cactus, and I think I also prefer Gender um, from the ones I've been doing. Might stick with the Trickster theme, because uh, I'm kind of enjoying comparing how they play against each other. Um, for the next one, we'll have to see. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, if you like this video or not. Um, what you thought about KO. What you think about him compared to some of the other Trickster hidden gems I've done. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching very much. Remember to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.